Thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get right to it. Lots to cover. Uh, it's about this system right here, but I also want to talk about another system that may develop up through here and a new system sitting offshore, a new tropical storm out in the Atlantic. I'm going to cover that, but we're going to get to the immediate concern first. Little blob of some rain near the ABC Islands. Uh, I've seen some on and off showers, parts of Jamaica, but off to the west. You see right here, this big blob here that is tropical storm Lisa. It is getting better organized. It is getting stronger. It does look like it could become a hurricane. Even if it doesn't become a hurricane, it's going to be very close to it. So everything we've been talking about over really the last week to week and a half, all right on track with this system. Again, it mainly missed Jamaica. Just like we mentioned uh, yesterday, how uh, aside from some rain, the bulk would stay to the south, Cayman Islands, same thing. So watching this on track, but I want to go over to the storm surge, the rain totals, and the core winds with this system. Belize, Honduras, uh, looking at you. We're going to cover this in depth. And you see right now, we've got the uh, warnings that are up across uh, Belize and then stretching back through Honduras. This is going to move almost due west. High pressure. If you're new to this channel, we have a lot of folks. High pressure is up to the north. So it is blocking it. We talked about that yesterday, keeping it down to the south, keeping more of that westerly track. And that will drive it right into Belize, very close to Belize City or just south of Belize City. So Ladyville South, uh, a landfall by the time we get into tomorrow night. So this would be be 8 p.m. on Wednesday, but ahead of it already, some of the impacts starting to be felt in extreme northeastern sections, eastern sections of Honduras. So watching you in Honduras, uh, Roatan, watching you, I'm going to dive into that. We get back toward Belize. So the very latest winds right now at about 51 miles per hour. So we're looking at about 80, 85 kilometers an hour at this time. I want to take you through this system and it is continuing to move generally to the west. So at a steady clip, just moving almost due west. That'll bring in those rough conditions right along the northern coast of Honduras and then eventually Belize tropical storm for at least the next 12 hours. So taking you through it again, you see the winds increasing to 81. So again, uh, going over the miles per hour, I'll go over the uh, kilometers an hour in depth, but just to show you the increase here uh, where it could become a hurricane, become a category one hurricane. And then right at landfall, winds could be around 92 miles per hour. It does look like it's getting better organized. I'm just seeing that even aside from the models I look at the environmental conditions I'm looking at the system as a whole so yeah the winds could be around 90 miles per hour uh, as this makes landfall and again I'll break that down further there are the tropical storm force winds so kind of diving into things for you and you see the tropical storm force winds just going out in time you see how that wind field expands in northern edges of Honduras just getting clipped with the sustained tropical storm force winds but those brighter colors those are some of the hurricane force winds as this will increase all of the models very strong agreement taking it due west toward belize belize finish those preparations uh, by this evening for sure honduras hopefully most of the preps on the northern coastline are already done because again conditions starting to go downhill so wrap things up if you're in a spot that typically takes on flooding uh, you may need to seek higher ground so i know you've been you've been watching this channel i've been trying to give you the heads up on all of that so let's take you through it here uh, the american model yeah it's doing a good job with this system it was really the only one picking up on the development of this system. A lot of moisture back behind it, so I'm not forgetting us. ABC Islands up toward Jamaica, but you see the core of this. Uh, heaviest weather uh, very close uh, to Rotan as we work our way into tonight. This is 5 p.m. Northeastern sections of Honduras. Conditions go downhill and going out in time as we get into tonight and tomorrow morning. So uh, Rotan, northern coast of Honduras, that is where we're going to be seeing the rough weather working in core of it still over water. Of course, watching our, our islands through here and that big onshore flow that's going to bring in the surge. I'll break down the surge area wide in just a second. And then you see here, taking you slowly, this is five o'clock on our Wednesday. So tomorrow, five o'clock, a little bit better in Honduras, uh, but watching these rain bands. I may even clip us over to where the Cayman Islands in Jamaica. But again, this system is uh, moving into Belize tomorrow night. By the time we get into Thursday morning, Thursday morning, most of that action will be inland at that point. So we'll see that kind of working in and I'll keep an eye on the inland flooding, Guatemala chance of that, but still some heavier weather. And then look at this down here, a buildup of moisture. And that is a concern because down the road, that may draw up some more moisture uh, back toward eventually Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, even eventually over toward Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, uh, we could see a buildup 
buildup of rain. So let me expand that out and let's get into that right here. Here's uh, what we're watching with Lisa, but going out in time and you see here, this is five o'clock later today, scattered showers and storms, moisture feeding in once again, starting to feed in as we get into the Eastern Caribbean. So I covered Lisa there and this is by the time we get into Thursday, Thursday evening, see some rain here and some rain here. Look at this building toward Costa Rica, uh, Panama, Colombia, then Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, more rain, potential of some flooding, not organized at this point. So Thursday, five o'clock here. So this is late on Thursday. Rain starting to increase across the Caribbean. Then I'll bring it out in time into Saturday. Look at Saturday and look at this big plume. Heads up Bahamas, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. I'm going to be watching you because we're going to have this moisture down here, a moisture feeding in from here. Look at St. Lucia, Barbados, chance of the rain uh, filtering in. And then a little flare up up here near the Bahamas. And there is a chance that this could kind of kick back toward the Bahamas. So a heads up, uh, either this area here or this area here may start to develop some tropically. So there could be a spin up and then that flow kind of swings it back. So I'm giving you the early heads up that I know it's a broad area, but in this entire area, Puerto Rico, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Haiti, Dominican Republic, even near the ABC Islands, increase of moisture. And again, over toward our friends, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, things building, Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda watching out for this sector here for the possibility of more tropical development so your early heads up on that up through the Bahamas something could develop by the time we get into a uh, really early next week so I'd like to give you the advance warning all right let's get back to this here's Belize Honduras the core of the winds in here 80 miles per hour but 130 or, or sorry 80 miles per hour 130 kilometers an hour so again that's what we'll be seeing with the winds it could be a little higher you saw some of my modeling that i was showing you uh had some of the winds just a touch higher than this but the core the worst winds will be either just offshore near roton and then working their way back toward belize so uh, hopkins up toward belize city that's where the core of the worst winds will work in with this uh system so that's going to be the worst but you still get those gusty winds you get those rain bands that still brings in some of the gusty winds all right let's break down the surge here. So you get into, uh, say, Belize City, for example, one to one and a half meters, three to five feet. That is going to lead to coastal flooding in different spots because, again, the uh, coastline is a little bit different. Uh, some areas uh, have some development, some don't. So it just depends on your, your area. But overall, about one to one and a half meters. As you get uh, anywhere from uh, over toward uh, Roatan, same thing. So some of our islands, we're looking at uh, this, about three to five feet, one to one and a half meters. Now, as you get into uh, mainland Honduras, uh, that's where it's going to be just a touch less especially because we'll kind of have that on offshore flow for a little while. So it'll be about a meter as far as that storm surge is concerned. Coastal flooding, though, uh, possible as we work our way into Honduras. As far as the rain is concerned, you see these brighter colors popping up here. Uh, that corresponds uh, to upwards of 150 plus uh, millimeters. So we're looking at about six to nine inches of rain just right in here, especially throughout uh, Belize, Honduras. We're right on the edge of it. It just depends on kind of how this system wobbles. If it shifts to the south by about, uh, you know, not, not too much of a distance, that could bring on some more of the uh, heavier rain. But again, uh, looking at 150 millimeters or greater. And look at the seas here. The seas are going to be building five, six, even seven uh, meters. So uh, these are the seas that we'll be uh, dealing with as this uh, continues to work its way in everything's really going to be building upwards of uh, even higher than that so that's the core of that sees a little bit choppier too because we're going to see kind of something trying to develop back into the central caribbean i'll be on top of that uh, for you all right let's get a look at the specific uh, timeline honduras first it starts to get worse tonight northeastern zones it starts to move in for honduras and then scrapes the northern coastline through the night into tomorrow belize around midday tomorrow that's when things start to really go downhill with a landfall wednesday night roughly near Hopkins. It could be as north as Belize City, uh, but more likely a little bit south with the core of that. Of course, it's a large system. We're all getting the impacts, but the actual landfall point as of now would look to be a Wednesday night right near Hopkins. And I'll monitor those rain bands because even up toward Mexico, some of those rain bands could filter in back toward the Yucatan. Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico right here. Uh, look at this spin here. Here's Bermuda. Now it's away from Bermuda. It's moving away and it looks like this is going to stay over water. But you see that right there? That is a new tropical storm. That is Tropical Storm Martin out there. And again, uh, indications are that stays out to sea. So tracking Lisa, I'm thinking of you in Belize and Honduras with the impacts of this system. Keep an eye on Martin that is out there. If another system develops by next week, 
The next name on the list is Nicole. And again, that early heads up, just monitoring. I'm not saying anything crazy is going to happen, uh, but we're keeping an eye on this in Puerto Rico, uh, Virgin Islands, up through Turks and Caicos, and Bahamas for the potential of something spinning up as we get into next week. I will keep you posted on that. Be safe in Belize and Honduras. Thank you for the comments. Uh, let's show some love for our friends in Belize and Honduras. Thank you for letting us know safely what's going on in your area. Thank you for your trust. Have a good rest of your day.